I reckon the 09 Granny was was pretty special, especially speaking to people that were a part of it, just saying how hard it was. Um, pure exhaustion, just making decisions based on instinct and just one of the hardest games I've ever played on. Uh, play Back quiet. Rook's after Les Clark and he goes. It was a Max Rook play. Is it a Max Rook kick? It is. He has the first goal of the grand final. He's such an important player for the Cats. Kelly on centre wing. A long ball's a beauty to Mooney. And on the second bite, he's got him. Um, I think that was just two of the best teams of the modern era. Um, St Kilda weren't, weren't good enough to win one, but they had an amazing team. And obviously the Cats were, were the best for that sort of period. It's been fatal for him. Ablett with help from Selwood. Geelong, head over the ball. Selwood goes for home and he calls it in. Ablett Jr., Scarlett, Enright, Milburn, um, Wojcinski, Tommy Harley, all those boys. Jimmy Bartel, Moons when they're up and firing. Joel when he was a young fella. Selwood paddles, controls. Can he pick it up? He does. It's a good handball to Ling. He's on his wrong side. He squeezes the right foot out. It bounces towards goal. Burns will finish up. Dawson, good mark in the conditions. Cats front half. Not oh. looking terribly frightening, but there's a frightening error by Dawson. And Hawkins makes him pay. He's found some space. Oh. At the last minute, Zach Dawson spills it. But a clever soccer by Scarlett to Ablett from 18 metres. He drills along to the tip of the goal square. Big Flyers want it. Farco, handball's over. It's a snap by Chapman. And Chapman's kicked the goal. And just, there was no, no room for error and there was no margin for, for get, second guessing yourself. So it was unbelievable for me to watch. Rook and Fisher burns. It hangs for Mooney. Poking it in the Rook direction. And he can go back. And he can have a shot, and surely any score will do it now. Wonderful kick by Mooney. It's over! The Cats' vindication has arrived!